What's up, guys? My name is Mama K, and I am a Call of Duty Zombies streamer. I've built an amazing community playing MWZ, and I absolutely love this game. But a question I get all the time is, I'm brand new. What do I do? So this is a breakdown from the very beginning. This video is going to be for folks who have never played Call of Duty Zombies before or Modern Warfare Zombies. I'm on a brand new account, so I'm gonna show you what you need to know as quickly and simply as possible. If you're one of my community members who already plays with us, thank you so much for being here and for watching the video. If you're brand new, welcome in. My name is Mama K. I stream on Twitch, and if you want any help or if you wanna connect with me off stream, you can join my Discord at discord.gg slash Mama K. All right, so here we are. We're on a brand new account. I have nothing on here. So I'm just going to go over the start menu and some things that you need to know before you get into a game. So I'm going to click on this second tab right here. We have gear. One of the cool things that they've implemented with Modern Warfare Zombies is you can bring stuff into the game. I don't have anything right now because again, this is a new account. This is a small rucksack. As you find bigger ones, you can get a medium and large, and that's going to give you up to nine spaces. But until we go into the game and get one, we have a small. Everyone always asks, what should I bring in? So as you unlock your missions, you will unlock more spaces to bring in your own guns. But here I have one unlocked. Now, because this is a new account, none of my guns are unlocked except for this SVA 545. I saw that I have that one. So that's more than likely what I'm going to put on. It looks like I can also bring in the Striker SMG. I highly recommend a gun that's going to be full auto for you to get started. I think that's the most important until you get your bearings. But if you have any guns unlocked or if you're looking for a loadout, I highly recommend the Ram 7. This is what I run if you have those attachments it's so good no matter where you're at but that will help get you started but just for simplicity's sake i'm gonna start with this sva it also looks like they've given us a few different guns to use uh, but i'm just gonna go equip this one other thing to keep in mind is if you extract with a gun inside zombies, that means if you get into the game and you leave and you bring that out with you, that's going to unlock it in the game for you. Now, if you have other games that um, if you have other guns that are unlocked because you've been playing multi, whatever your favorite gun is, you can bring it in. Zombies has a lot of flexibility, so no need. Bring whatever you're comfortable with now. In this Modern Warfare Zombies, they've implemented schematics and acquisitions. Acquisitions is a scary word. It just means something that you have acquired. So these are things that you have acquired. My stash is empty. So if you find really good stuff in your game, you can bring it back into your stash. Now let's talk schematics. This is just simply plans. So when you find these plans in game, you can then bring them out and have them to craft. So let me go over something. Um, we'll start, we'll go ahead and start with the Perca Colas. So traditionally with Call of Duty Zombies, you would load into your game, it'd be round based, which means you'd fight the waves of zombies. When you killed the last one, it would go to the next one. Once you got enough points or money, you could then buy your perks. And those are in-game advantages. In this game, they've implemented these schematics so you can craft them and take them in with you from the very beginning. You don't have to wait to get those points. And I love that mechanic. It saves so much time and you can really choose your own adventure as you're going in. So before we even get to how you get to all of these, I'm going to give you a quick overview of what each of these do. Because again, this is for brand new zombies players. If you already know this, feel free to check out my other YouTube videos. I've got solo videos of the dark ethers and all of my challenges from my channel. So be sure to check out those other videos if you already know this. But let's just go over the uh, perks and then we'll back up and go to Ethereum. So these are perks. These are in-game advantages. So the first thing that we have is Deadshot Daiquiri. It increases your enemy's critical damage. 
death perception. This allows you to see zombies when they're blocked from your view. Um, it kind of highlights them. It allows you to see chests. So really good things that you loot. It's an okay perk, um, not one of the important ones. Elemental pop. So this has a chance to give some sort of effect and I'll go, I'll go more into that once we get over the ammo mods. Juggernaut. This is probably the most important perk that you can get, especially for new players. It's going to increase your max health. So my son uh, calls this Jug Health, um, so I don't confuse him with the Juggernaut kill streak. But Jug is important. That's going to have the cross on it. PhD Flopper. This is going to help you take explosive damage. So think about there's an enemy inside this game. It's a dog called a Hellhound. And when they get close to you, they can trigger a fire response. And with PhD, that helps you take it and not get as hurt. It'll also let you dive into the zombies and kill them from your, your flop. Quick Revive, this is going to help you pick up your teammates faster. Speed Coal, this is another one of I would call the core four. This is going to help you reload and plate up your armor faster. And then last, we have Tombstone Soda. So what that is, is it kind of gives you an opportunity to save yourself. So let's say you have your backpack full of items. If you die, you can't pick yourself up with a self-revive. When you go in next game, you're going to have a tombstone where you can get the items that were in this backpack, including your money. So definitely a little different than how Tombstone or Who's Who worked back in the old Call of Duties. All right, let's quickly go through some of these other items. So under this Ethereum tab, we have ether tools. So whenever you see these, you're gonna wanna equip them to your gun. They will make your gun stronger. In the order of rarity, you have the uncommon ether tool, then the rare, epic, and legendary. So you'll absolutely find lots of uncommon and rares. And as you get started, when you find epic tools, put those in your bag. When you get the legendary tools, hold on to those. This will literally make you make your gun the strongest that it can be in the game. Another thing to make your gun stronger that you'll absolutely want to do is pack a punch. So pack a punch increases the strength of your gun. It also puts a cool camo on it. So there are three different levels of pack a punch. We have one, two, and three with three being the strongest and then you have your base crystals so rather than using the pack-a-punch machine if you find these you can use them and pack a punch your gun you have the raw ethereum crystal the refined and the flawless all right so next we have ammo mods so these are different mods that have come over from cold war that will have special effects on zombies so you have the brain rod that's going to turn zombies into friendly zombies and then it's gonna go attack the other ones for you cryo freeze that's gonna freeze them then you have dead wire that does electric damage napalm which is fire and shatter blast which is going to trigger an explosive attack all right next you have wonder weapons call of duty is absolutely known for its ray gun that is a tried and true classic what i would say is one of the most popular in this game is the scorcher now if you're wondering again how to get all these i am going to have a video up of how to get all schematics you have to get this from fighting the red worm if you have no idea what that means that's okay this is just the basics but i'm just trying to give you a little bit that i can to help you out but the scorcher helps you fly from all different kinds of points on the map it's really good for fast travel but there are also plenty of of vehicles so typically when i'm helping folks out that's what i do i just use a vehicle that's okay you don't have to have the scorcher um i do absolutely love 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 the vr11 it is by far my favorite wonder weapon so this was brought back from old call of duties that looks like a little beetle but what it does is first off when you're holding it it helps you run faster you can shoot your teammates and give them like a little burst of where they won't be attacked by zombies 
It's super great for the red worm that we've already talked about, but I won't mention again. Um, and then it will also repair and refuel your vehicles. So once you get this, this is absolutely epic. Um, I absolutely love the VR 11. And then you have the Wonder Waff. That is another classic Call of Duty Wonder Weapon. And then we're going to get quickly into these classified schematics and what they do. Again, this is just a breakdown. I will tell you how to get them all. And I will show you how as I develop these videos for newbies, for newcomers, right? If you don't know what's going on, that's absolutely okay. Because um, this has been in a work in progress since the game came out. And we are slowly about to start season five. So the Ether Blade, this is a lethal where you can throw it'll kill three zombies and come back this is a favorite blood burner keys so this will spawn in a blood burner bike it's super cool so when you get into the game you can spawn it and you can use it to drive wherever you want it doesn't take damage for the most part it takes out zombies really easily and it can drive on water dead wire detonators so this is going to do extra damage on your explosives so i absolutely love this one and i run the crossbow i know a a lot of people don't have that but that is one of my favorite weapons and i will run dead wire detonators on here dog bone you can call in a friendly dog that will come pick you up this is super great if you're solo and you may not have teammates to res you but you can call in a friendly hellhound golden armor plate this is a cool schematic that they added when you have your armor on and you have this popped it will automatically regenerate your plate so if you're missing you're taking damage you're missing a plate you don't have to worry about plating it'll do it for you similarly in the same vein this is a golden gas mask filter and i'll show you more about what this means later but it'll regen your mask when you're outside of the storm mags of holding i love that they added this so this is great for those ars smgs so it takes all your ammo and puts it in your mag so you don't have to reload it is so fun especially when you do have those hordes of zombies and then you have the sergeant's beret so there are mercenaries in this game that's the only thing that's going to shoot back at you so if you ever hop in and you're like oh no someone's shooting me it's a it's an ai so think very similarly to dmz right you've got the mercs so this will turn you into a sergeant and it'll also give you bob the the merc buddy that'll also pick you up very similarly to the dog but these are the classified schematics so these are going to be the hardest to get in the game what i highly recommend before you even think about working on those is just to work on your missions they really do such a great job at at introducing you to the game because again it's a lot and it's okay but it is so much fun and i i think you're gonna love it so here are the story missions so i'm going to make a guide in another video that's going to show you how to solo every one of these missions so you know exactly what to expect it's only going to be easier if you have teammates but you'll start at the very beginning so the first mission that we have is called direct line this really does a good job at introducing you to the game so when you load in you are going to ping a contract on the tac map you're going to complete that contract contract in exfil now when you exfil you'll be rewarded with 1500 xp and also the juggernaut can acquisition so that's not the plan you're not going to be able to craft it but it's the acquisition so you can use it in your next game if you wanted to before we dive into the game to show you what that looks like, I just want to go over a few more details. So this is what your operator is going to look at. I'm going to turn my camera off here for a second so you can see the full screen. But this is what your inventory is going to look like before you load into a game. You have the option to edit it. Again, you can use any gun that you want. You'll unlock these two as you complete your story missions. I'm going to bring in the SVA because that is what I have. But then you can also choose your tactical, lethal, and field upgrade. So tactical, I always, which I can't even, <laughs> I can't even bring because it's locked. But I highly, highly recommend 
recommend decoy grenades these are the best for getting you out of situations you can throw them and it's going to distract the zombies they're all going to go over to that decoy grenade and you can run the other way so this says it's unlocked at level 42 but i can also find this in game and excel with it and that's going to unlock it as well so i highly 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 recommend the decoy grenade over everything it is truly a game changer is absolute must in this game and then when you have the lethal these are really preference i have found as i have played the game and gotten into the harder stuff that the most efficient here is going to be the thermite so it looks like i unlocked that at level 33 or i can go in and extract that but those are my go-to's i will use the thermite and the decoy grenades but we'll just leave those on since that's what i have access to as we're looking at our loadouts let's go over to the field upgrades so these are upgrades that you get to pick which one you spawn in with i only have access to the energy mine because i'm low level but starting off is energy mine if you deploy this it will it will give out an electric ball zombies will go to it and then it will take them out this has a medium charge this is this is really good it's a good one to run um, especially if you're just getting started and you're starting to get swarmed by zombies um, the next one is frenzied guard uh, unlocks at level nine this does have a slow recharge but it's gonna repair your shield and also pull all the zombies to you so that can be good if you're looking to help teammates out healing aura this is probably the most ran field upgrade it does have a slower recharge and it heals all nearby players this is super great if you get knocked your teammate can deploy this and it will pick you up automatically so this one is huge especially if you are running in a team the next one is frost blast i don't really see this one being ran unless folks are working on missions but this will as it states deploy a frost blast it has a medium recharge ether shroud this used to be really good in cold war and if it lasted longer than it does then it, i think it would be great but unfortunately it just doesn't last very long and i don't think it's worth it but when you pop this you will kind of go invisible to the zombies you can go pick up your teammate you can run to a different area so there are advantages but i just don't think it outweighs the healing aura where you can deploy and it'll automatically pick up your teammates and then last but not least we have tesla storm which if you and your teammates are near each other it'll create 10 seconds of lightning that connects to the other players and that will damage the zombies so we'll have energy mine for now and then if you're ever playing in a squad i'd highly recommend using that healing aura um because you can also pop that if you're getting low on health because that will save you all right we're gonna take one last look at our operator here and look at the gear information again this is a super super in-depth review of everything but just so you're aware um right now we have a small rucksack again that goes up to large so you'll you'll definitely want to pick those up when you can this is for your kill streak you can only have one if you go into the game and you find one make sure you equip it if you have another one in your backpack when you come out it will actually take that from you so you can only have one um jugger juggernauts are really good in this game um so i'd highly recommend that for your kill streak plate carrier so your armor we're gonna start out with a one but you can find more as you go do contracts or you loot items and then that goes up to two and three so obviously when you when we talk about re-gearing in modern warfare zombies what everybody means is getting a self-revive a large backpack and the three plate the gas mask this really isn't important right away um, but there are two different gas masks that you can have um, again you can pick one up but right now it's just not important as you're getting started and then you have the opportunity to get a self revive those are an absolute must so now that we know what the operator looks like we have our sva equipped let me take you inside a game and show you what we're looking for
All right, so now that we've loaded in, you'll notice there's a timer. There's 45 minutes in each game. So everybody will spawn in randomly. Let's take a look at the map. So we have this map. I know it looks like a lot, but I'm going to explain everything that it means. So you have 24 players in each game, and that's all the little blue people. So you can see them all around the map. Now, as you can see these different colors you have the gray the orange and the red as you head in it's going to get harder so right now i have a basic gray gun there's no tool there's no pack a punch my gun will not be good inside either of these tiers so until you can level up your gun it's okay to stay in level one i would not waste your time going into what we call tier three so we have tier one tier two tier three um it just won't be strong enough and so again as you go in it's going to get harder inside here um, so that's important to note. You're going to want to equip your gun and arm yourself with perks. Also, I always recommend bringing in one gun. Um, I think a lot of times when folks come in, they bring in two. They think there needs to be two, but there doesn't. Um, and also when you run with your fist, that is going to make you faster than if you had two guns as you just run a little slower. Now, when we look at the map, you will see all these little symbols. So when the perks that I talked about, so right away, I can see close to me, there is Jug. So that is one you can find where it is on the map. That's close. I can just run right over there or I can ping that vehicle and go over to it. So as I shoot the zombies, I'm going to get points and that's going to help me buy that perk. Um, don't I, I would ignore this by the time you watch this th this will probably not be relevant um that is that is a drop for a dna event um so so i can collect that and earn rewards um you don't have to get jug right away but again that's just gonna give you more health so now that we're in game i think one of the most important things is getting better armor right now we only have one and as i said earlier you can go up to three so as as a as someone who's been playing for a long time what i do is i will typically wait until i get one as a reward but if you're brand new to the game i'd highly recommend getting one from the very very beginning it just gives you more health and one of the easiest ways i think to do that without wasting your time looting is going to a mercenary camp so these are ais they're the only things that shoot you in game they're really not hard they're not overpowered or anything the zombies are attacking them as we speak um but i just recommend getting shield and shooting them again i just have a basic gun right now um so you can take them out pretty easily just give yourself cover um and right now i put on a plate so as you see those dropped on the ground you're gonna pick those up and i'm just gonna take out all of these all of these mercs there's a sergeant there's you can shoot this little item little counter uav <laughs> so that's kind of blurring my map um sometimes i take it out sometimes i don't it it just depends um but we're gonna look for the last one. Oh, it looks like there's a sniper right there and now that's been completed and so that just tells you that you're safe there's no more and you can go into this little box by the computer and there it's already going to give me a two plate so we're going to equip that and then we're going to stow this key card. And just because I have plenty of room, I'm going to stow that extra plate as well. But now that we have more space, be sure to plate up your two plate. So now that you have this key card, you're going to take it to a Merc stronghold. This is going to get us a three plate, which is right over there. So you can either run or there's an ATV here that I'm going to take. They've implemented a lot of different things to the game. So we just completed a Merc camp. If you don't want to do that, you can also buy one for 2000 at a buy station. I don't have the money. I don't want to waste that right now. So I just showed you guys an easy way to complete it. It doesn't take long, but now we're at the Merc stronghold. So you can see the little castle on the map. These are located all over, but you have to have the key card to get inside. So this one is a little harder but you're just going to take your time 
and shoot all of these mercs. You gotta watch out. The zombies are coming behind me here. Now, they always have a shieldy boy. This is the hardest part of these merc strongholds. So I'm again just taking cover. You have a teammate. Oh, looks like the zombies took him out. So don't have to worry about that. There's little mercs coming down. I'm going to deploy my energy mine. Okay, that's going to take them out. So those do periodically come in. So I also think that's important to keep in mind. But I'm just going to go in and shoot these guys. Be sure to plate up and get cover. These are not hard if you take your time. I cannot emphasize that too much. Um, this is where I personally am most likely to die <laughs> is, is on the Merc. So just take your time. I'm going to equip this gas mask and try not to get shot here. Don't need that gas mask, but we're going to go ahead and grab it. And this is why I like automatic guns so I can just hold my gun down. We're just looking for any any more mercs. So once you get in here, what you're going to do is look for a safe. There will be zombies that come in. Well, I'm going to loot here. And now this is the safe that you want to open. So you're going to have to stand nearby it and, and mercs are going to come in as you wait. So you'll stand near it to... To drill it what i highly recommend is going to a place where i can see no one is gonna spawn in right here i can watch this door if they happen to come in that one they may come into this one but that's the easiest way to do it because there are other mercs that are gonna come in that are a little more silent and they'll definitely sneak up on you so that's my biggest advice when you're coming into these strongholds is find where you can go where they're not going to be able to attack you they, they are sneaky and they are fast. So you just always have to be careful. Oh, there's little Bob. <laughs> All right, so now that the safe is unlocked, I'm gonna check this and I'm going to have the three plate. So that gives you a little extra advantage. When you see this card, this is for the Legacy Fortress. So every game has a Warlord. I'll have another video up for those, um, but I would just recommend ignoring that, especially as you're getting started. All right, so I'm gonna show you a few more things on the map. So you have an idea of what to expect once you get into your first game. So before the game, we talked about Pack-A-Punch as a way to make your gun stronger. So that's through tools and crystals. This is what the Pack-A-Punch machine looks like. So to pack this, I will need 5k. You're only going to get the tier 1 Pack-A-Punch in tier 1. Okay. So if I want to pack a bunch of my gun again for the second time, I'll need to find one in tier two. And this is what they look like. You hover over it. It says pack a punch. You can only do pack a punch one or two in tier in tier two. If you wanted to go to pack three, which is 15 K, you'll need to go in tier three. All right. So now that we have our three plate, I think the next thing that I need to worry about is a self revive. This is going to let you pick yourself up if you go down. So right here, I have pinged a cargo, a deliver cargo contract. It has the little stopwatch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and grab it. This is the easiest contract that you can complete um, as a new player. And so one of the things that why I recommend this as especially if you're coming in solo, um, you can you can get a self revive the first contract that you complete solo is always going to be a self revive and i think the cargos are just really easy so technically you can do them without without shooting anybody but when i open these doors there's going to be mercs behind there um you can either shoot them with your gun or you can just get in your vehicle it'll take a little bit of damage but nothing to worry about so as you can see there's the little cargo symbol on the map it's a little over 900 meters away but we're just gonna drive towards that symbol we're going to deliver the cargo this is a really easy one for new players because you're not shooting zombies you're literally just driving the vehicle now there is a merc heli that's shooting us but 
it doesn't it doesn't really do much just kind of stay out of its line of fire and you won't have to worry about it as you're learning the map this can be a little tricky to figure out your different routes um but again this one is is really easy and this is how you're going to make money this is going to get you that self revive and then you can also use that money to buy a larger backpack if you want you can buy that in tier three at the buy station if you need to get another self revive you can also do that by earning money the self revives are going to be five thousand points at a tier two buy station so if you want to buy a self revive you're going to have to find it it's going to be the little the little shopping cart is, is the buy station so i've now completed my first contract look at this i'm leveling up contracts are also a great way to level up your gun i'm going to equip this and here's the perk i can either put this in my bag um dead shot so again that's gonna do more damage you just drink it and that's going to help you out so now we've gone over perks pack a punch we have a small backpack but we do have a three plate i don't think it's really important to get a large backpack right away but again that's whatever you want to do um if you can choose to stay or and, and play to go find one um if you are looting one of my favorite places to loot especially for new players is just going to be over there so let's let's grab the truck and go back over there for brand new players if you are looking to loot and find stuff i do like this little shopping center here this is located at h and i6 it's on the east side of the map i'm not guaranteed to find anything but if you didn't want to go and buy stuff i highly recommend here there are all kinds of little things that you can interact with when you see the cash registers you'll want to grab those No idea if I'm going to find anything, but I think if you're just looking for more money um, or possibly finding a... Oh, Ravana was telling me how to pack a punch my gun. So now that we have 5k, we can do... Oh, look, I found a decoy. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Oh, I also think there was a thermite in there because, again, if I exfil with those, that's going to unlock them. I won't have to wait. Oh, there's a Molotov. We're going to go ahead and equip that. That'll give me that'll give me something else besides a frag grenade to, to bring out. So that was something that I did when I very when I got started for the first time was I just I just looted the things that I needed rather than waiting to get all the way to level 55 to unlock everything. Oh, and there's a thermite. So we're going to go ahead and equip that. So we'll have that. There's just a lot of different places. And so this makes one of one of my favorite things if you're just looking. Oh, there's a gun. We can, we can go ahead and equip uh, this cat. <laughs> it's a sniper. Um, because again, once you exile with that, then you are, you're going to unlock that. So if you find anything that you like, um, I would highly recommend bringing it out. Your teammates can drop it for you. So if they already play uh, Modern Warfare Zombies or, or Modern Warfare, if they have something that they like, they can drop it for you. And then when you exfil with it, you're you're gonna have that so that's also a great way to get good stuff and then just as a note here we talked about the tools and making your gun stronger so as i hover over i've got my gray sva that is the lowest that you can have and then this sniper is green so that's just a little higher now another important tip that i want to talk about for call of duty zombies i already told you early i highly recommend running with one gun so here here we have the zombies i think one of the biggest pieces that you can learn in zombies is knowing when to fight and when to run away so my biggest tip again is always running with one gun you're going to run with your fist out and and training zombies is important so training right here so they're following me it feels so good to be wanted right <laughs> so we're going to train the zombies they're in a little circle here it looks like i've got about all of them in the area but i get to control them right now if i'm standing right here and i'm getting hurt by all of them right i need to run away 
sprint, slide, run away. Look, and now you have your distance. And this is why I like the decoys. And this is what, this is the exact strategy that I use when I'm running in the harder tier three areas, right? So when I'm dealing with that, if I've got a big group chasing me, because in tier three, they're much faster, what I'm gonna do is throw my decoy And look, they go to the decoy. So that creates space between you and them. And now you can keep running this way. So those are my tips. Learn learn when to back off. That will make you a successful zombies player. So honestly, if there's anything that you took from this video, that would absolutely be it. I just unlocked my first calling card for 100 critical kills. That is going to be like your headshots. So how exciting <laughs> to unlock everything all over again. Don't forget to play it up. Now, let's say you're ready to leave. Let's show you the exfils. So we do see them on the map you have the door and the little person when you hover over it it says exfil so you've got one right here in the south one right here and one right here there's usually three they're going to be located in different parts of the map it doesn't matter which one you take um if when you go to it you're going to call the heli in and if the heli is not there it'll come back it's just on a quick cool down um and there will be green smoke that'll let you call it back in so do not worry they don't disappear they don't disappear until the storm comes in so um the ether storm is right here as you can see and and once you hit the end of the timer this is gonna start um taking over the map once the storm crosses this exfil point you won't be able to take it again and so um you will need to go to a different one so this one obviously is going to be the first one to be taken and then this one and then this one will be the last one there is one more exfil after that point it's called final exfil and so what it will what it'll be is it'll i know this is a lot of information but again i'm just trying to help you <laughs> what it'll be is once it takes these three right the storm's gonna expand on this side it's gonna leave this area open that's final exfil it'll come in with around three minutes of the game but as a new player i would not i would not do that just whenever you're ready go to the exfil call in your heli and you'll be all set again if you have any other questions or you need help along your way be sure you can check out my live streams twitch.tv slash mamakattv or you can join my discord i have a my own server discord.gg slash this is a super in-depth guide of getting started with modern warfare zombies i absolutely love this game and i hope you do too i have such a great community if you want to come join and meet other players to help you out you don't have to play alone we'll absolutely get you taken care of but be sure to check out all my videos i'm gonna have everything posted on how to complete all the missions the guides how to get all the schematics for modern warfare zombies good luck And just in case, get on the heli to leave. You can do this.